Hey guys, it's DPG, David Patrick Green, HackHollywood.com, HackBollywood.in. I'm rocking my Toronto Wolfpack Rugby League official global ambassador cap. You can only get if you are a global ambassador. Ooh, bad hair day. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about what one of the cast members of the Netflix hit show Ozark thinks about you moving to Los Angeles. So uh, I was at a, a SAG screening and Julia Gardner was there. And uh, I think her character name on Ozark is, gosh, I can't remember, but she is kind of like a trailer trash type of person. Can we even say trailer trash anymore? Um, and anyway, uh, she's an amazing actor. If you haven't seen her, go watch Ozark. It's an amazing show. Um, and anyway, as I always do, if there's an actor in the crowd, I always ask them a question. Like I always have my hand up. I've asked Dustin Hoffman questions. I've asked Scarlett Johansson questions. I ask everybody a question whenever I'm at a screening, if I can. And uh, I often ask them the same questions, but one of the questions I ask often is, do you think actors should move to Los Angeles? Did you need to move to Los Angeles to get your career off the ground? And, you know, she gave me a rather brief answer, which is, uh, you know, absolutely not. They don't have to. And now I'm going to tell you why she probably said that, because she didn't really elaborate. She said, no, you don't have to. There's lots of opportunities where you are. You know, you got to sniff around, look them up, uh, be successful where you are. Because if you can't become successful where you are, what makes you think you're going to become successful in Los Angeles? Um, so, so while she is, uh, I would agree with her, while I would say she is correct, that it's not really a should you or should you not question. This is a, is it going to be beneficial to you? Is it going to help your acting career or is it going to hurt? And, and I would say um, there's a very good chance it's actually going to hurt your acting career chances. It's really going to hurt uh, the chance that you will ever become a professional actor. And I know that sounds insane because all of the professional acting work seems to be in Los Angeles or at least a great proportion of it. But the problem is Los Angeles itself is one gigantic distraction from what it is you really should be doing to launch and su sustain and grow your acting career. Now, what do I mean by a giant distraction? Well, what happens is most of the people that come to Los Angeles, um, you know, if they haven't studied at a really pre uh, prestigious school, etc., and been scooped up by a top agent, when they get there, they don't know what to do, right? So they may do what everybody tells them to do, which is get a headshot and maybe study at some acting school there. And it's one of those acting schools where you don't have to have any prior experience. You, there's no application process. The application process is, <laughs> is your credit card payment approved? Okay, that is the application process for most of the acting schools if not all of them in Los Angeles that aren't affiliated with an actual, um, you know, accredited university or college. And so they go to the school, they take their classes, whatever. Nobody ever tells them the reality of acting because everybody who runs these acting schools is terrified of actually telling their students, there's a really good chance you're never going to work in this business. And one of the reasons you're never going to work in this business is primarily to do with the fact that you're going to this acting school right now. And we're never going to tell you the truth about how hard it is to become an actor because if we did, you'd probably be scared off or we think you'd be scared off. And because they're so scared of scaring you off, they're also scared to tell you the truth. When in fact, if they actually told you the truth, you might actually respect them for it and trust them more if they did, right? Um, but by the time you graduate, you go out there and you try and get your acting jobs and nothing happens. It's too late to get your money back and it's too late to go, I wouldn't have gone here if I'd have known what you were telling me is not true or that you weren't preparing me for the realities of the TV and film business. And so then what do you do? Well, you you thought you were going to graduate from this school and suddenly start working because they maybe had a showcase, right? And a few 
a few agents that they scraped off the ground like pieces of gum, the ones that aren't super busy and have time to go to showcases of uh, these acting schools, a few came and you thought, oh, this is the secret. This is how I'm going to get represented. But most of you didn't get represented, or if you did get represented, it wasn't by a very good agent, and so nothing has happened. So you're now thinking, okay, what do I do now? So then you turned to more things, like things like uh, you know, casting director workshops, or postcards, or getting your headshots taken over and over and over again, uh, putting up a, an actor website, making a demo reel, all of these different things that are also told to actors by people who aren't telling actors the real truth because, and let's face it, most of the people don't know what the real truth is. They've been so bamboozled by all of these things that they become professionals in doing these things. Like people become professional demo reel editors. People become professional uh, headshot photographers. People become casting directors. None of these careers are actual careers anybody ever studied for. They are careers that come from failure, okay? The failure to become an actor. Almost every single person in Hollywood that is doing one of those jobs was an actor at one point and never really figured it out. And what do they do? They just keep doing what they were doing as an actor, but now they're doing it in the form of a casting director. So they are telling actors to do all the things that didn't work for them. So I don't know actually what they actually think is going to work when they didn't become successful and so they became a photographer or a, a casting director and, and yet it didn't work for them. So now they're telling actors to do the same thing that didn't work for them. Makes no sense at all, but hey, guess what? Most people don't make any sense um, because they're too scared to do something different. And, but what happens is you get distracted by all these other things and you're just constantly being pulled in one way or the other Oh, well, if, you're, if your postcards aren't working, get new postcards. If your headshots aren't working, get new headshots. You know, if your demo reel is not working, make it shorter. Uh, make it longer. Switch it around. Make it more comedic. Make it more dramatic, right? Pay a bunch of, uh, pay a bunch of money to get people to make up fake scenes with you in them so that it looks like you actually have booked acting work in the past. Right? And it's a huge distraction because you do all these things because these are the hoops you think you need to jump through and joining the union is one of them. And then you find still nothing has changed. Okay? And then you get really frustrated and you would think at that point you go, okay, I've tried all these things. I'm going to give up. But you don't. You just quit the business altogether because you're more terrified of actually potentially offending someone than you are of failing as an actor, right? You're so scared of doing the wrong thing that you'd rather just start having kids, get married, and get a regular job and say you gave it the old college try, but you didn't, and, and you're gonna move on with your life. So if you stay home where you are and you don't get caught up in all of the hype that surrounds becoming an actor in Los Angeles because most other markets are too small to sustain the crazy industries that Los Angeles can sustain because Los Angeles has so many actors you can have an industry for almost anything there like you can you can make a living editing head, uh, head making taking headshot pictures you don't have to take wedding pictures you could just take actor pictures uh, you can make a living editing demo reels, right? You couldn't do that anywhere else or very few other places. Maybe New York, maybe London. I don't know where else. Maybe Toronto or Atlanta. I don't know. But um, if you stay home where you are and you just start, you know, you do a little training. You don't get caught up in your expectations because you're still home, right? You're not surrounded by the hype and craziness and all the messages in your head. Then you can just go, okay, well, I want to get involved in the business. I don't know how to reach people. Uh, I don't have a casting director. I can't get agents. There's hardly any agents where I live. So maybe you think, hey, I'm going to reach out directly to a producer, you know, uh, short film producers. They, they're running ads in Craigslist, you know, that just Google production listings in your hometown and you will see all the films that are shooting and the TV shows that are shooting in your area. And it's literally got people's names and phone numbers and email addresses. Find out if you can get involved somehow. Don't worry about the acting thing right now. Build relationships. Because if you do that and you make some success there 
and then you eventually get your first acting roles, then you can go, all right, I know how to do this and I'm pretty good at it. And I also know how to navigate the business and I've got some relationships and the relationships I have, they know people in LA. So when I get to LA, I can say, hey, I know your buddy so-and-so, I know your friend so-and-so. Um, so I thought I would just come and say hi and tell you what I'm up to and see how I can be of value to you. And then you show up in LA and you don't get caught up in all the distraction and all the crap and you go on to become a successful human being and an actor and you're doing what you want and you're not making excuses because you know you got pregnant or you got someone pregnant and you thought finally i'm out i can tell my friends i can't try and be an actor anymore because i'm too busy having a family right the poor kids who were the scapegoats for all the failed actors um out there but anyway guys so the message from julia garner and from me is no you don't need to move to Los Angeles until you know what you're doing and you can find out how to do what you do where you live right now and it'll be a much smoother and more pleasant experience not so full of distractions okay guys let me know what you think uh, my off base my too mean too bad I can't change that um, I, I can only speak the truth and what else would you guys like to know what other videos would you like me to make that come out of this and that's it peace out